Marco Reus is without a doubt one of the best players in the Bundesliga history. With 428 appearances for Borussia Dortmund and 109 appearances for Borussia Mönchengladbach, he scored 156 goals and assisted 118 times. He is only on of three players to reach 100 assists and 100 goals each in the Bundesliga. But his way wasn't as easy as you might think it was. As a youth player, he started at his favorite club, Borussia Dortmund. From the age of 7 until 17, he played for them, until he left the youth squad. The reason being, Dortmund showed no interest in the player, because he was both too weak and too small. In 2006, he joined Rottweiss Allen's U19 team, where he was featured in six games. In 2007, he broke into the first team, playing, in the third Liga, Germany's third division, 16 games, in which he scored on goal as an attacking midfielder. At the end of that season, Alain reached the promotion spots to the second Bundesliga. In 2008, Royce made his debut in the second Bundesliga, where he had his definite breakthrough season, playing 27 games and scoring four goals and giving three assists. This was enough for Borussia Mönchengladbach to take matters into their own hands, and for the 2009-2010 season, they bought the 20-year-old for only 1 million euros. At Gladbach, he soon became one of the best players in the Bundesliga, being their best player in the club. He played 109 games for the team, scoring 41 goals and giving 28 assists respectively. His best season was in 2011-2012, where he had 30 goal contributions in 32 games. After joining Gladbach, Borussia Dortmund soon began monitoring the young German, and after the outrageous 2011-2012 season, they activated his release clause and bought him for just 17.1 million euros. One important note is that he used to play as a winger until his pace dropped with age. In his recent seasons, he normally played as the number 10 or number 8. After making the decision to join the Borussia in 2012, he said, I've made the decision to take the next step forward in the coming season. I'd like to play for a club who can challenge for the league title and guarantee me Champions League football. I see this chance in Dortmund, and he was definitely right with this one. In his debut season for Dortmund, he began where he had left of at Gladbach, scoring in his league debut against Werder Bremen. Unfortunately, in the Bundesliga and DFB Pokal, there was nothing to celebrate. But Dortmund was also playing in the Champions League this season. After surviving the group of death, which should sound familiar to you, they went on to reach the Champions League final in the Wembley Stadium in London. He also played in one of the best games in the club's and Champions League's history. In the quarter-final against Malaga, being 1-2 down in extra time in the second leg, which would secure the semi-final for Malaga, Dortmund made a stunning comeback, scoring in the minutes 90 plus 3 and 90 plus 5, securing the semi-final spot for Dortmund. In the semi-final, they beat Real Madrid with 4-3 on aggregate, but went on to lose in the final against their biggest rival Bayern Munich with 2-1. He went on to score 19 times and give 16 assists in his debut season. In the following season, Royce went on to score in the DFL Super Cup against Bayern, where Dortmund went on to win with a 4-2 victory and Royce winning his first trophy with the club. Other than that, the season was unspectacular for him, winning no trophies with the club but still reaching outstanding stats with 23 goals and 22 assists. The 2014-2015 was something special for Dortmund. After being second in the Bundesliga in the previous season, Dortmund found itself stuck in the relegation spots for most of the season. They were also last after the first half of the season. For Royce, the season was also a one to forget. He was injured for most of the season. But despite the battle against relegation for Dortmund, Royce went on to sign a new contract with Dortmund, keeping him at the club until 2019. This once more showed his love and passion for the club. At the end of the season, Klopp secured the club's seventh place in the league and went on to reach the DFB Pokal final, where they lost against Wolfsburg, where Kevin De Bruyne played at this time. The following season went a lot better for the German, scoring 23 goals and giving 8 assists in 43 appearances. Unfortunately, he went on to lose his third final with Dortmund, this time, in the DFB Pokal again, also against Bayern in the penalty shootout. In 2016, he unfortunately began the season with an injury and was sidelined by Thomas Turrell until November, where he made his comeback against Legia Warsaw, where Dortmund won historically with 8-4. Roy scored twice and assisted once. In his third DFB Pokal final in a row, 
this time against Frankfurt, he went on to win his first major trophy for the club. But the price for the trophy was high, he got injured in this match and would miss the majority of the 2017-2018 season. In the end, he would score 13 goals and give 8 assists in 24 games. Because of his injury, he had to wait for his debut game for the next season until February 2018. He would end the season with 7 goals and 1 assist in 15 matches. But most importantly for the club, he went on to sign another contract keeping him at the club until 2023. In the next season, he made an astonishing comeback. Not only was he made captain of the club by the upcoming coach Lucien Favre, he also went on to score 21 goals and give 14 assists and was voted Germany Footballer of the Year in 2019. He also went on to score his 100th goal in the Bundesliga in that season. Unfortunately for Dortmund, they bottled a 9-point gap to Bayern and therefore lost the Bundesliga title on the last match day with 2 points, which left Royce again with no titles. Well, he at least won the Super Cup again in 2019 against rival Bayern Munich with 2-0. Until February 2020, he made 26 appearances, scoring 12 goals and giving 7 assists. But a muscle injury kept him out until the end of the season. In the 2020-2021 season, he went on to win his last title with the club, the DFB Pokal in 2021 against Leipzig in the final. This was also his last great season with the club. But scoring 13 times and giving 18 assists is still a great number for a 31-year-old. Until today, he went on to play less and less frequently and in this season, he lost the captain badge to Imre Chan. He also lost he Bundesliga title again last season to Bayern Munich, again on the last match day, even though being first with two points at that point. He also signed another contract extension until 2024. In Dortmund, he is also known as the unfinished player. A player who never won a big trophy with his club, even though he was this close on a few occasions. This season, everything can change. After an outstanding run, Dortmund went on to finish first in the group and made his way into the Champions League final, again at the Wembley Stadium in London, where they will face Real Madrid. Unfortunately, this will also be his last dance with the club, as he will be leaving in this summer because the club didn't want to renew his contract. What do you think about Marco Royce? For me, he is one of the most underrated footballers in the world, but do you think the same? Where will he go? and is he still good enough for a top club? Let me know down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.